Good day, my Game of the Year enjoyers! My name is Tildrell, and today we play the Honor Mode of Baldur's Gate 3. Yeah, I want to beat the most difficult mode there is. And right now, as you can see, we are on our way to Withers, because uh, this side quest line gives a nice bunch of XP, of experience points, and yeah, the ability to respec early game is very, very handy. Because once we hit level 4 with every character, I will make some, let's say, adjustments. And now, <laughs> I try to make a social check, at least inside his wisdom, so there is a chance to make... Of course. And because we are in honor mode, there is no chance to save scum, so we need to fight them. But yeah, that fight is rather easy. Yeah, it's rather easy compared to the fight inside of the ruins, so I think I will just skip. And we are here while we are slipping on ice. Yeah, the left bonk. And Lazel is doing the rest. Maybe a crit on sleeping targets. Thank you. 22 damage. Early game. Mm. And now we go to the ruins. <laughs> Hello. Let me in. Because of my fantastic social skills with an 8 in charisma. Yeah, maybe maybe we need to punch through the door. Let's see. And no! We actually made it. Yeah, let me through. I am the little... Um, not dwarf, I'm the little gnome. We need to either kill him in the first round or we need to crowd control him. And we kill him! I will just take everything that's edible and send it to my camp. And now we activate this lever. And we are sneaking because this... Mm, of course, the last bit of her sighting range. At least she has low enough HP to fall asleep. Goodbye. Goodbye, my beautiful. And now we need to kill her before she can scream for help. Because then this fight is getting yeah, unnecessary harder. Bonk! I didn't kill her. Well, that's... Oh, damn. Yeah, she will run and warn them. No. Yes! Strike! And now we are sneaking in there. And maybe... Hmm. Let's make a plan. Let's let, let's make a plan. Yeah, I will sneak with Lazel down there. And of course, they just move when I... Oh, and that dude is even turning around. Well, this fight just got significantly harder. Yep. And we even fall down. Mm, not good. Not good, even my shadow heart is almost dead already. Oh boy. Um, yeah. Rule number one, if you want to cover more ground, jump. Especially with characters that have high strength. Because with high strength, you can... Damn it. With high strength, you can cover more ground uh, than with walking. And now... We will just, yeah, heal what we can with Shadowheart. Once we hit level 4, I will rescale her. I will respec her into a cleric on the life path, on the life domain. Because, honestly, trickery domain is the worst. And now at least, at least hit someone, please. Who should die first? I think... Mm, no, we can't. We can't hit them. But I think the priest needs to die first, their cleric. Or should I do something else? Nah. Guiding bolt. 
Guiding bolt on the cleric would be the best call. And maybe she dies instantly. And boom! 14 from 15. Um, if I die here, if there is a wipe, it would be very embarrassing that we had really much bad luck in the beginning. Bonk! Yeah, of course, crit my Lazelle. Yeah, at least she's standing strong at 1 HP. And now, <gasps> Greece! Collateral damage, killing clerics. <laughs> and now I think we just walk towards, is it Hasid? I think it's, ah! Yeah, kill, kill all of my team members. Aaron Jesus is not with us this fight. This is his revenge for all the crit rolls on the commander's sulk. And of course she's missing. Because she's a cleric that has a cantrip scaling with intelligence. Why not? Larian Studios, please. Um, maybe. Yeah, Shadowheart, watch. This is how you do a firebolt. Please. Please learn from Gale. And now... I think we can walk sideways so we don't get burned. And maybe kill the Berserker before... No. He will stand up. 100%. We have a problem. Um, yeah, attack him normally. Bonk. Bonk him on the head. Um, and go out of the way. <laughs> Please attack Shadowheart. He at least has a shield. Yeah. Oh god. I, I'm very unlucky, but at the same time, we luck away with one HP clutch saves. <sighs> Please, Hasid. Attack Shadowheart. She's standing in front of you. Uh, should I heal? I think I should heal. Yeah. So we at least have some kind of chance. Heal from Shadowheart and herself. Boom. Lazel, self-sufficient. Something along those lines now. <laughs> Still on my feet. Um, yeah. I think we bonk. Take me yet. Bonk. Very good. And the last one is here. And of course he survived. Death is but but Gale away. should hit his spell. To Queen Six. He has intelligence. He's intelligent enough to thread the needle. Boom. Okay. Very bad start. And luck. Definitely. Now we just loot everything, and then we go straight ahead to activate. We activate the hidden contraption soon. I yeah, I should send my torches so everybody has one in the long run when we need them. The Shadowlands. It's all preparation. It's all preparation for the second act. Thank you for the contraption. Is it possible that no one in the party sees that? Or is it hard-coded to turn up? Uh, maybe. Can we... What's next? Your desire. Can we take the undead behind the door without spell slots or almost without spell slots? Let's see, huh? And we have, we have the scroll, so maybe the strategy will be, yeah, of course, lockpicking. I think our strategy will be self-casting protection from um, Fey and everything, good, good and evil. Running in front of all of them with Rach tool and hoping for the best. And I don't know if this is a valid strategy. 
this is a valid strategy, but I think the undead are not as dangerous when you take away the lootable weapons. In my opinion, this does something with the difficulty of the fight. I could be wrong, though. I definitely could be wrong, but I think it helps. And wait. Looks like someone has the store hands. always been here. This I never was in this room. Than it should be with such a massive lock. What? Is this new content yet, Triarchan, and fail at it? Because we are definitely not intelligent. So we just need to use brute force, but... Guys, I don't know this book. Is this new content? Is this a new... The tone does not take kindly to your tampering. A feeling like pins and needles lingers under your skin. Pins Pricking and needles! Bah! And now... We hit it! Boom! Easy. Who needs magic? We are in half orc. As the lock opens, a loose page comes with it. It's a rich magic culture. Pulses from the punishment. <laughs> what was once engorged in violence. Now an obliterated okay. scroll. You have a sense these are names, a list. But of what? Uh huh. Religion is wisdom, is it? No intelligent shit. Oh god. Oh god. Yeah. God. At least. These are the names of gods. Shadow Hearts of Proofs. We know names of the gods. Sundering. The last three names in this book sit close together, but are so devastated by the scroll okay. as to be unreadable. I guess those are the dead three. Have dwindled and been reborn, silently recorded by this book. What the hell? Has this always been here? I stumble in this room the first time. What is it when I pick it up? Because isn't Withers holding this book himself all the time? What what happens now? I took away his book. Will he ask me for the book later? And he's, there is even a soul coin in here. Um. Wow. I missed this. I played this game for over 250 hours. Two complete playthroughs. <laughs> no. I'm speechless. Honestly, please write me down in the comments. Is this room new or am I just blind? Blind as hell. Uh. waste yeah i mean we could we couldn't maybe we even should make a short rest here but nah no, the undead should be easy this. enough we just activated and hmm. oh no my pink eyes what do they see yes we need brains! No, they don't need brains, they aren't zombies. They are not zombies. They are skeletons. What do skeletons need? Maybe they need love. The darkness can be to our advantage. Okay. First flame bull. Okay. I think this fight should be easy enough. I just cut it to no choice but to keep going. The moments when Rachtul makes bonk bonk. Of course, at first we activate this one. We activate our scroll so we can run in front of their noses. Watching me. And now we <gasps> bonk. <laughs> Blood and clock. 16 damage. Lazel only does like 15 normal damage with a crit hit. What is up with my dude? And Shadowheart is. Of course, she's missing. Shadowheart early game is useless or almost useless. Let's go. The only point where she's important is in the first fight. First real fight of the game. 
because she needs to command Salk to drop everything. Because she's so beautiful. Hmm, speak with the dead necklace. I think that comes in handy. Through knowledge comes atonement. Through knowledge comes atonement. And now, one of the good guys has an evil entrance. Is it a boss fight? Is it a monstrous guardian of tombs? Will he come for our lives? <gasps> bah. No, 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 no. He is a not there. And he's, he's walking normally. Did you see it? He's not slouching out there. I need to keep shot. They patched his walking animation. Ooh, look how regal he is. Where does he go, actually? He's going in the room where... <laughs> Withers, I'm sorry. I have your book. I read it. <laughs> well, we don't care. If he wants it back, he will... Whatever. He will come to us and he will ask for it, I guess. Until then, we will name drop every single god in conversations. Rachtul needs to at least act like he's intelligent. My name's Astarian. Ah, hello, we I are picking up Astarian. Wow, he's so friendly. I was yeah. hoping for a kind soul. Well, not to worry. And... Yeah, I told him he can meet us in camp. Trustworthy. And now the only missing piece is... The fight. You should check it out, but be careful. The fight in front of the Druid Scrolls. Mm, I think I will go in front with Lazel. Open the bloody gate! Yeah! Nobody gets in! Sevlor's orders! Ah, yes, yeah, Sevlor. That pack of goblins will be on in any second! What's going Here on? Here he is, the, the most useless Hellrider paladin in history. Out. You let goblins hear? Where is the druid? Yeah. Please! There's no oh. time! Oh no, they are here, a varg. And we cut down to where I attacked the warg because apparently this fight turned out to be very, very easy because we outnumber everybody. We outnumber our opponents. This orc captain is a ninja. Yeah, I just skipped half of the fight for you <laughs> of course because nothing significantly important happened until now okay Lazel is lying on the ground and you hit now level three one level to go before we make big changes and before our monk class is where it needs to be and starts to get strong. In case you didn't watch my uh, first video, in my opinion, Monk has the best level one, or at least one of the best level ones in the entire game. And it falls off from level two to four or two to five. But then this class gets godlike. That was the last of them. Inside, all of you, more may follow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Open the gate! Open the gates. Good. Damn. And now, let's see if we can win the actual boss fight, which is dead. the social check. There are children yep. here, you fool! This social check. For our lives. Because when we can't make it, the, too? the dude is leaving. And no help at all. The human's eye twitches. Hey, at least I get the inside check. Blow. I think that uh, makes the difficulty easier. I mean, I could just punch him. I think when I punch the human, he won't leave either. But a 15 check. Come on! Oh! 
guidance. You're Who right. needs charisma? There's too much at stake. <laughs> Who Worried needs charisma? The both Not Rachtu. Squabbling is pointless. <laughs> the goblins have found us. Yeah, and even Gale approves. Well, we are in the Druid Grove. In the next episode, we will do the necessary stuff there. And we go on the hunt for experience points to hit level 4 as soon as possible before we do basically anything else. So, I hope to see you there as well. Bye.